Hello there friends, uh, this is just a quick video to show you how to import your character from Chummer 5. Now unfortunately I do not have uh, the Chummer program uh, readily available to me, however, uh, there will be a second video for uh, to find the certain files that will be mentioned here today. Uh, so I'm just going to open up a new character real quick. So from your tab, or from your side, I should say, you should see this uh, journal. It looks sort of like a newspaper folded over. Uh, your setup is going to look different than mine, uh, but there should be... that tab should be there. So you would go over to your character, which should only be one or two. Um, when I hand you your character sheet, it's going to have a randomly generated name. When you click on your character, um, the first thing you're going to want to do is this window should pop up. You're going to want to hit edit and then change the name to character name. Um, and that should um, be your character's name, to be sure. From there, you'll see the character sheet tab click that, and then in the actual character sheet, which is this guy right here, you will go to character, click that, and then at the bottom are the steps for the Chummer import. As you can see, once you export the character sheet, the completed character, uh, as a JSON file, You'll open that file in something like Notepad or uh, Nano, Atom. There are a lot of different options. You will copy all of that text, all that information, um, and then you will come over here, select all of this, delete it, and then paste everything here. I highly recommend, you know, your classic control C, control V. Um, once that is done, you will hit the import button. Uh, it'll say this is going to change everything, the whole thing. Hit I accept. And of course, nothing happened for me because I didn't have any input. But what should happen is you should see some kind of uh, it worked type situation. Then what you will want to do is individually uh, go through each one of these tabs and just make sure everything looks right. Um, you know, there should be numbers in your uh, attribute scores. Uh, all, of, all of your skills should be put in, and I recommend, so let's say your character had a 6 in animal handling, and since that's charisma, we'll put another 6 here just for demonstration. So that is a skill that you will be using. Now, your character with animal handling might not have any points in disguise, and therefore would only very rarely be uh, using a disguise role. So, you can just hit hide unused, and of course you can do that for all of these skills, and that will keep your the skills that you care about as your character right at your fingertips. You won't have to go scrolling through every single skill to find it. Um, with magic, you're going to want to make sure that uh, the spells came over uh, right as well. Um, this won't be added by Chummer, but it would really uh, help all of us if in this description box here, uh, you put down what the uh, victim of the spell would roll to resist. Presuming that this is uh, some kind of offensive spell, your classic uh, mana bolts for damage, uh, stun bolts for stun damage, um, bugs for um, illusion and distraction, um, your enhancements. Again, you're going to want to make sure that not only that your positive qualities your positive and negative qualities are there, but also the rating. 
I've noticed that uh, sometimes transferring over, the rating will not show up. And for some qualities, that doesn't matter because there's only one level, one rank. Uh, but for some things like high pain tolerance uh, or... Uh, that's the only one I can think of at the moment. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that you have the rating there. Um, same for negative qualities. Uh, as well, any cyber and bioware... I would recommend giving yourself a small note. So let's say we had a cyber arm and the rating, grade, essence. All of these things should come over. But the one thing that won't come over is, let's say in your cyber arm you have a, a built-in grenade launcher. Uh, and you want to make sure you remember that. I'd put that in your notes. You know, uh, grenade. Now, in that, this specific case, because it's a weapon, it should show up in your other weapons, but if not, uh, and we'll touch on that in a second, uh, then, you know, a lot of this is just going to be, did this port over this, that, and the other. Um, for those with cyber decks, again, you're going to want to, I believe you'll have to manually input the deck array and base values, but if you're running a cyber deck, uh, please talk to me if after the Chummer import, all of this stuff doesn't come through. Um, uh, same situation with your vehicles, because let's just put car. So it's possible the handling, speed, acceleration, uh, pilot rating, all of that might not come over. So it's just a quick two or three minutes, but it's two or three minutes you spend now so that we don't spend it in game later. Um, and then equipment. This is where the stuff is really going to be a little wonky. So your armor is most likely going to get added the right way. Again, double check. Uh, but when it's in there, it is going to default to not being on. Um... So we're just going to make sure to click that on button for the armor that you're going to be wearing most of the time. Uh, you know, not every situation is going to warrant getting fully kitted up, but uh, again, it's just a little five second thing that you're going to want to make sure to hit that button. Now with weapons, uh, specifically any weapon that takes ammunition, um, Let's put pistol in here. So, oops, sorry. Yeah, if you click melee and ranged weapons, it will condense the whole thing. Uh, I don't recommend it, but you can if you want to. Um, so once you add in your weapon, uh, or once Chummer should add in your weapon, um, as well, uh, you know, your accuracy, damage value, all of that, um, you're also going to want to, where this little add button is, add, uh, and add your ammo. Because while for the regular rounds, you know, nothing really changes, your accuracy, damage value, none of that changes. However, if you had something like a PDS, where uh, maybe you have a limited amount of that ammunition, or, uh, again, for a PDS, that usually adds a minus five, not to damage value, to armor penetration. So there may be situations where you want to switch to APDS and you don't want to have to keep inputting the minus five and remembering all of the different things. So uh, just make sure that that is there. Uh, again, if it's something special like a stick and shock, uh, you might want to add in the description what exactly that does. Uh, stick and Shock, of course, changes your uh, weapon's damage type from physical, or whatever the weapon is, to stun electric. And that's getting into other game mechanics that's outside of the scope of this video. Uh, finally, Social is the other big thing that seems to not come over a lot. Specifically, if you have a character who has... Every contact should have 
a connection reading. So uh, you're going to want to make sure that that number is there because that's going to be important if you're buying something, using their services for something. Uh, I've not usually seen the loyalty come through empty, but just something you want to double check. Uh, and finally, there's just going to be some other things. Usually all of this stuff here, meta type, sex, age, public awareness, notoriety, that stuff usually comes across. Uh, but just double check. All right, well, that is going to be the end of this video. Uh, thank you for watching, and can't wait for the game. Bye.